Hello, this is Dagoku Gamer, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. So, uh, last time, I think we, uh, yeah, we recruited uh, Garrus and, um, who was the other one? We also recruited Morden. So now we have uh, quite a few options on what we can do. And I think we're going to start with a small DLC. It's not really like a mission or anything, but it is a DLC. Uh, where we'll go, uh, explore the Normandy crash site. site. Uh, we need more fuel. Let's get more fuel. Okay, but yeah. We're going to go, uh, find out where the original Normandy crashed and see what's going on over there. So there's no mass relay to this system, so we have to just fly there. Which takes up some fuel, um... Let's see which planet. On Akhera. Hopefully the SR2 isn't attacked while we're investigating this. Or Alchera. Alchera's crust is com is composed of carbon and water ice. While low density, its large size allows it to retain a thick atmosphere of methane and ammonia. It is believed that if Akhera or Al Alchera uh, had acquired a bit more mass. Uh, when the Amada star system formed, it would have formed the core of the second outer system gas giant. Alchera has three moons. I uh, don't know how to say those. Their print is too small. Anyway, let's start the scanner and see what we can find. Wait, I didn't mean to launch a probe there. Oh well. Okay, why is it... It's moving really slowly. The orbit of the planet, anyway. Oh, it's like right there. Okay. Anomaly detected. Scans confirm the wreckage of SSV Normandy on the planet's surface. No life signs or mechanical activity detected. Stable landing zone located amid the crash. Let's land. This is an interesting DLC. It's it's I think it's it's free if you uh have like the Cerberus network, which means that you bought the game for uh that you bought the game new basically. But All right, and now we begin a very sentimental journey into the past. There's uh, there's the thing uh, that was in front of the galaxy map, the Normandy sign. Uh, oh, and we're supposed to look for dog tags of people who were killed in the crash. And here's one of them. Um, see, there's the side. It's the side of the Normandy right there. See, let's run. Poor original Normandy. I liked that ship. It was a cool ship. Okay, so we, we have to uh, decide a place to place the monument, which this would be a good spot, I guess, but let's look around a little more. Let's see what we can find. We, have to, we, we get to place a monument to the uh, Normandy. We just have to decide where is the thing. Hmm. There's a dog tag over there. Let's see what other uh, places we can recognize. There's like the back of it. Like where the engines were or whatever. Um, let's see, what's this? This looks like the... Is this the galaxy map? Or no, this is the... Uh, this is the... The downstairs, the sleeper pads. No, wait, no, this is the, uh, this goes up to the cockpit. Yeah, this is the cockpit right here. And there's where you exit. Wow. 
Bummer, man. <clears throat> yep, here's the cockpit. Let's see, dog tag. Um, let's see what else can we find? Can't tell what that is. Here we <coughs> here we have some uh, reduced element or refined elephant elephant <laughs> refined element zero. Let's see what else do we got around here. There's uh something. Don't know what. The most obvious part is the bridge. The uh cockpit over there and the side of the Normandy. Um, let's see what else is over here. God, the wreckage is just everywhere. I don't know what that part of it is. See dog tag here. I think there's something like 20 dog tags or something like that. Let's see what what's this? Oh, this is where the galaxy map was, wasn't it? Hey, that was Amanda. I forgot that she's dead. I'm so used to her being alive because that's what happened when I was first playing through this. Well, where where is this? I can't tell. Oh, it's the meeting room. That's what it is. Huh. Oh, wait, no, it's the it's the desk that they had in the, like, crew area. The desk where they, like, eat and play cards and stuff. So many memories. Let's see. Looks like there's another dog tag down there. Can I get to it? Ooh, what's that? Oh, just part of the ship. Okay, here's a dog tag. Uh, what's this? Oh, uh, this is where the sleeper pads were. Um... There's the Mako. The Mako. I missed you, Mako. The Mako was so cool. I wish they had the Mako in this game. Hey, the Mako looks looks salvageable. Hey, Normandy, come down and pick it up so we can use it again. Poor Mako. I think when uh, I think when I placed the monument in my personal game, I think I placed it right next to the Mako because you know the Mako is cool. Poor Mako. I'm gonna miss that thing. Oh well. Yeah, I think I placed it like right here or something. I'll place it somewhere else this time though. Let's see, what's this? Looks like a... Oh, it's the shuttle. Isn't it? Must be a shuttle. Or is it? I'm not sure. Or an escape pod, maybe? I don't know, it's not giving me a flashback. Let's see what else is around here. Something there. More element zero. And is that a dog? No, that's the element zero. Whoa. <laughs> Let's pull out our gun because there are totally enemies around here. Let's blow up that crate. Hey, dog tag. Why do I still have the three burst thing? I need to switch that out. Um, hmm. Some part of the ship over there looks like an engine. <coughs> I'm probably not going to collect all the dog tags. That would just take forever. 
Let's place the monument now. Wait, dog tag. Pick that up. Um, that's the shuttle from the Normandy 2, obviously. Well, I think that's it. I think that's all of the Normandy crash site. So let's place the monument right here. Poor Normandy. <coughs> okay, well, I don't know if there are any dog tags left, and I don't really want to search for any more, so let's go back. That's always a sad journey. All right, well... Back to the SR2. be cool if there was like an easter egg or something where you could uh, fly around uh, with the SR1 for whatever reason. Or just like, like I don't know, maybe you do something and then you go back to the Normandy and you're in the SR1 just like as a cool easter egg. That'd be really cool. <laughs> but I like the SR2 as well. And now we wait for the stupid loading screen. Okay. Um, so the mass relay is this way. Okay, fuel. Need more fuel. Alright, so now we have a few choices on what we can do. Uh, let's see, we can do more dossiers, we can recruit the convict and the Krogan, or we can help Zaid, or do the Firewalker thing, or help Kasumi. And yeah, that's about it. Or investigate Project Overlord. Let's recruit the Krogan. So where is the Krogan? This planet, Corliss. Corliss, a garbage scow with the climate, was how one Citadel Council member described Corliss at, or Corliss at the turn of the century. And ever since then, the Corliss, the Corliss Tourist Borough has been attempting to rebrand their planet. It hasn't worked, though they have tried calling it Recycling Center of the Galaxy. Corruption scandals and a staggering murder rate ensure that Cro Corliss's image is permanently stained. Uh, Corliss's biggest business is, re is the recycling of de decommissioned or junked spacecraft into their component parts. Um, while, while, the in uh, while the invention of Omnigel has made this process significantly cleaner, it is still a dirty business that chokes Corliss's sky with smog and fills its pores with megatons of scrap. A shady hus hospitality industry and a scavenger under underclass round out the spectacle of urban decay. Travel advisory. Corliss ranks second in murder per capita in the terminus systems, and first and first in off-world or murder. Civilian traffic is can, is encouraged to employ security professionals when visiting. Oh my god. Uh, th and like three billion people or whatever that says there living there. That sucks. And the capital has been disputed. And not a very nice place. Hey, let's land there. Why not? And now we wait, once again. Alright, so let's take Garrus, because he's cool, and, uh... Hmm. Miranda. Okay, we got upgrades. Let's do some upgrades. Let's see. 
can upgrade these guys too. Uh, ooh, heavy overload. Your pulse now damages synthetic enemies so dam so brutally that they explode on death. Or area overload, you have increased your pulse's strength to cover a wide area, making it easy to hit multiple targets. Uh, let's do area. Okay, now, ooh, Garrus has a lot of powers you can upgrade. <laughs> let's upgrade that, and we'll do heavy, and that. Alright, let's go! doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. Alright, here we are on a not nice planet. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Krogan warlord, huh? Cool, cool. Krogans are powerful. I still have the stupid three round burst gun. Why didn't I change that while well, I could? Oh well, next time I see an armory. Oh god. Already on this wonderful planet and we're getting shot at. Hey guys, can we resolve this peacefully? No. And that guy's hiding behind a wall. There we go. It's melee Garrus. Actually, no, let's not do that. Garrus is cool. Melee, melee. Melee, melee. Wounded Merc. Let's talk to him. Shit. Shit. I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't Berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're Mercs. Or Alliance. I'm not, I'm not telling you anything. I've got a nice application of Metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather I just keep walking. Son of a bitch. I, I just, I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there, he, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use him for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol? The last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jadora will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all of this? He can't go in the labs. But everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy, mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. The scare was a nice touch. I thought so. Come on. Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's All right, so if we're doing that Paragon option, maybe we, uh... Um... Uh, maybe because of that Paragon action we did, uh, thanks to our charm or whatever, um, our Paragon, thanks to our Paragon actions, maybe there will be less enemies now, now that that guy told his team t that we dispersed when we really didn't. Like how it's telling me to reload when I still have 12 shots left, well, more like 4, because the 3 round burst, but... Uh, no, losing health. They're awfully far away. It's sniper time. You should punch through their armor. Enemy down. Come on. It's, it didn't reload. Okay. Um. Let's do this. Okay. Oh god, oh god. You know, I don't understand people. Why would they want to live on this planet? It's just like Omega. 
I mean, some people don't have a choice, really, but if they have a choice, why would they want to live on this planet? Like, seriously, this planet sucks. It's kind of like Pandora in Borderlands, if you've ever played that game. God, that planet sucks. Who would want to live there? I guess most of the people who live there, though, are vault hunters, because in the game, you're looking for this vault that's supposedly filled with treasure, and, you know, that attracts all, all these people. But other than that, Pandora in Borderlands sucks, and so does its name. Hey look, that Krogan is helping. But I, I'm, I assume he's gonna attack us after these guys are down. And we'll leave him alive. Until he attacks us, which he's not. Okay, that's good. Hey, I can talk to him. So he's a tank grown Krogan. You are different. You. You don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you. Something makes me speak. He's only a week old? They must breed them full size, ready to kill. It's not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bread to kill. No, I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Okay. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. It was taught enough to be tested, but for what? I don't know, but I am not perfect. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice, not like now, with ears. Inside, I called it Father. It liked that, but it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A lab with Krogans. Sounds like an attempt to cure the genophage. Cure? Cure was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. Maybe he's prone to the insanity that the Merc mentioned. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Dangerous. Krogan armor is weird. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. You could have run, tried to fight your way back to the lab. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me if they come, I fight. But I will not run, and I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Okay. Wait a minute. Blue Suns. Oh, credits. Cool. Uh oh. What was that all about? Okay, I think we're good to move on. Whoa. Krogan Berserker. Incoming. 
Okay. More Krogans. These ones are evil for some reason. Medkit. Cool. Okay, who's, who's shooting at me? Another Krogan. Jeez, there's a lot of Krogans. There's another one there. Okay, took care of those. There's another one. Oh god. Oh, find palladium. Can I save? Cool. Uh, I think I'm actually going to end the recording here because, I don't know, bored of Mass Effect for some reason. But yeah, next time we'll probably meet Okir, so until then.